Good morning. So today we're going to be doing some doodling from your imagination. So I've got whiteboards here and whiteboard pens. If you've not got that though, you can just use paper and pencil. So you start by getting one person to draw a random shape on your board or on your paper. And then you have to create an image based on the line that has been put there by your friend or family member. So this is my daughter. So she looks like she's maybe making a little frog out of this. Is this a frog? No, maybe not a frog. Let's see what else she does. No, I think it's a dog. Yep. Okay, so from that little single sort of J-shaped doodle, she was able to create a dog shape. So now it's my turn. So Femi had drawn three red circles and I've decided to try and make those into flowers. So I've started drawing flowers of different shapes. So using the red circle as the center point for the flower, I'm going to draw in some leaves there and try and get all my flower shapes to connect as if they're cascading down from the top to the bottom. else you can do with this is set restrictions so what we're doing here is we're saying that what you have to draw has to become a face so we've got that green line and from that green line I have to come up with some sort of face idea so I've decided to turn these things into bunny shaped ears and I'm going to have a lady wearing bunny shaped ears so to make it more look more like a bunny I'm thinking mm, need to give her a bunny shaped nose so I'll pop a wee bunny shaped nose and give her some buck teeth Femi had a simple arch shape on her board, so she created this baldy man. You can do landscapes. You can be specific about what has to be drawn based on the doodle. So I started off by drawing a wavy line across the board and then Femi came up with this little sea landscape. I'd like to be on that boat right now. So Femi drew this red bendy line and I had to come up with another landscape. So thinking about our current state and where we are right now with things, I would quite like to be on a deserted island right now. So that was my inspiration after a coconut palm tree. And you can add as much detail with these drawings as you want. So you can divide your paper up into squares of four or your board into squares of four. So I drew these shapes on for Femi and she drew the red shapes on for me. So I have to complete the red shapes based on the little doodles that she started off with and vice versa. So on Femi's board with a green pen, I drew the lines to start with and she's now having to try and complete each box to create an interesting picture. So this is me doing a dice based on the lines that were there originally. And he's got an elephant. Oh, this looks a bit like a grumpy old man. Something from a Roald Dahl book, it reminds me of. Oh, don't know what that is. This was a difficult one. I wasn't sure what to do with this one and then it thought it looked like a pair of knees. So have lots of fun. Here's a template you could draw or you could just fold your paper into these sections. Draw on some lines and then pass it to a friend and see what they can come up with using their imagination. Here are some examples that I did when I was at school. And you can add colour pencil to them to create colour on them. Some very imaginative um, drawings coming up here. You don't have to colour in your designs or your doodles, you can just use a um, pencil. Now if you're wondering where Artso was, he was very keen on this task, so I think he wanted just to sit at the window. There he is now. Hi Artso, do you want to do some doodle drawing? 
You do? Okay. What, what could this be? What was that? A paw. Oh, that's a great idea. Let's draw Arlo's paws. There we go. Is that okay? Artso. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like these videos so that you can enjoy more. Thank you.